Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. I know. We're having fun here in the studio. It's a Friday. We're loving it. The weather is fantastic. Man, am I looking forward to the weekend. 74 degree air temperature, dew point coming in at 43. Oh, how good is that? You know, in just 24 hours after that front moved through, a wind shift changed everything. At this time of year, the winds are everything. They're key. They'll bring down cooler air. They'll bring down drier air. They'll bring up humid, moist air, which is what we've had all week long. Now, east-northeast wind coming in at about 9. That northerly component to the wind is going to be with us right straight through most of the weekend anyway. 72 degrees, Wachula, Arcadia, 73, Mayaka, 73, Perry, 71, Bradenton, 71, Lakewood Ranch, 71, got 74 degrees in Northport, 76 degrees in Punta Gorda, 73 in Venice, Inglewood, 70, Longboat Key. So, across the state, things are very quiet, very tame, very benign weather. We do have a few scattered showers still in progress in the southern tip of the state, but as you can see here on our little radar loop, they're falling apart even as we speak, and that's going to be the trend. If you are heading to Miami or Lauderdale or the Keys, everything looks good for a very pleasant evening as those showers continue to dissipate. Deep south looks fine. No issues here. A little bit of uh, lake effect snows up there in the, uh, in the northeast and some onshore flow and a little low pressure area producing some Pacific Northwest rainfall and snow showers at higher elevations. But this is the area we're going to continue to monitor and watch. Parts of Texas, a little area of low pressure will develop there. That little area of low pressure has the potential for severe weather a bit later, later in the day. Severe Storm Prediction Center gives a marginal look to that area of Texas because of a low pressure area that will develop there. We have nothing in the way of any kind of thunderstorm activity. Even rain showers are going to be at a minimum. So this low is important to us for only one reason. It may bring us a little bit of rain showers later on. Not this weekend. The weekend looks good. The frontal boundary has sunk far enough south that our winds are now directed out of the east-northeast, or eventually even east, eventually even southeast. Now, a frontal boundary connected to that low that was back in Texas by the end of the weekend, moving through parts of the deep south, will push a warm front through our area. So that I suspect that on about Sunday, you'll start to see things clouding up significantly in the second half of the day particularly. I think rain showers will probably hold off, but then as we head into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to see warm front, cold front, everything stalling out, a series of little impulses that will continue to destabilize the atmosphere for several days in a row, leading to rain chances on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. But until then, enjoy the dry weather. Not going to have any issues with that low. Winds will shift out of the south by about uh, Monday or Tuesday, and that's going to bring the humidity back big time. But until then, cooler, crisper days in the forecast. Warmer on Sunday as that front approaches and moves through. Northeast wind at about 10 to 15. Boaters, nice day out there on the waters with lots of sunshine. And over the course of the next several days, Cool, crisp mornings, warm, pleasant afternoons, warmer starting on Sunday, and then that rain chance the beginning of next work week. Don?